second period, just after the first, how good was it to see that effort and just how much did that propel you guys? Yeah, the first 50 minutes wasn't 15 minutes wasn't great, but after that, I thought we played real, real good hockey the rest of the game. So they definitely got the, the jump on us early in the game, but we played really well the rest of the way. You, you thought the third period was? You thought you played well. In the it, third? Uh, wasn't as good as the second, but it was. They weren't getting a lot either. You know, it was one of those periods where there wasn't much going on, and uh, you know they're a high-powered team, and you try and play a little more defensive a little bit. And so in the second one. Essentially, win every shift. You're yeah. zipping the puck around. You have numerous chances. You, yeah. you know, you're in control. And then the third, you basically create nothing. Is, it, is that yeah. you just sitting back too much? Is it well, Larry, I think you've been around enough this year to know that I, I don't tell them that, but it happens to them mentally sometimes when you're playing a talented team like them. And, you know, I want us to keep going. I want us to keep playing and play a little safer, you know, not as much pinching from the defenseman, but, and, you know, it's it's a mental thing sometimes with the guys. So we're pushing them on the bench and keep it going, make sure we're playing hard and smart. The second period was as perfect a period as we played all year. And but that's that's hockey. You know, that's that's a mental part of the game. And uh, I didn't think we played bad by no means in the third. But we, like I said, we didn't uh, we didn't take it like we did in the second for sure. I don't know. I mean, we it's um, it's nothing we talk about to kind of back off and. Um, but you know how dangerous they are. Um, that's a good team that we're playing against. And, um, you know, obviously there's a tendency to back off a little bit too much. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, if, I don't know, as far as a four-trick, if everyone, uh, if we four-trick, like, for example, we do in the second, everyone knows where they're going. When we have that third guy um, backing our D up, making sure we have guys home. And then, you know, it's a little uncertainty. Half a second, just look over at the guy to see who goes, then it's too late. So. Um, you're going to have to back off, but um, I don't know. I thought we did a pretty good job in the third, anyways, and um, they get that goal tied up and, and uh, losing a shootout. But I thought overall, after um, you know, last little bit of the first and then rest of the game, I thought we played really well. So is this encouraging for you or disappointing? No, I mean, we've talked about the two points being the most important thing, but I think uh, playing. Looking at the positives from um, the way we played against a really top, a really good team, uh, top team, I think that's um, um, that's obviously something that we can take with us and, and uh, uh, work on other things that we need to. Mika, you're watching it from the penalty box, but did, it looked like the team after they killed that penalty, you guys kind of took off. Did you sense mm -hmm. that that gave you guys some momentum? Yeah, I thought that was a. Um, kind of reset a little bit uh, and got a big kill. Um, got momentum out of that kill, like you said. And then, um, then after that, I thought we uh, we played our game. And, and um, um, that shows um, how, how good we can be when we, I feel like I'm repeating myself every time I talk to you guys, but we, we know um, how, how good of a team we are when we play like that. And, and uh, um, it's um, obviously disappointing not getting two points tonight.